What's up everyone? Welcome to the Switching Gears channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Now after long anticipation, I received my 13 inch RWD RS2 suspension. I'll explain why there was anticipation in another video, but getting back on track. Now I'm excited to get these installed on the bike because I've never had aftermarket suspension on a bike that I've owned before. But earlier this year, I rode a buddy of mine's bike who did have the RWD RS1 shock on it, and I really enjoyed it. But enough of me talking, let's get this on the bike. All right, so I did pick up this floor lift off of Amazon. You are gonna need one of these to be able to lift the back tire up off the ground. And prior to lifting it off the ground, I did myself the favor of loosening up all four of these uh, bolts on each side. These will be reused, so I'm gonna have to save these. I really question why Harley puts such mediocre parts on their bikes with the amount that we pay for them, because I can tell you right now, the quality and the feel of this feels way better than the other one. Now let's go ahead and attach a top bolt. This little lip needs to be facing inwards, apparently, as well as this one. Now we are not gonna tighten this down all the way because we have to remove the stock shock on the other side in order for me to put the bottom bolt on. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. wish you guys could feel this one this is this is garbage now I did mention this earlier but these are 11 inches so this is gonna be quite a height gain and a better quality ride let's ditch this garbage and get the other one on Now in order to align the swing arm, all I did was drop the jack down just a little bit. That way the bolt can easily slip in there. I'll finger tighten it down a little bit and then go ahead and tighten it up. And of course that applies to both sides. Let's do it. Now the torque specs say that you know, these need to be between 62 and 70 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and do that.
As far as quality and looks go, night and day difference. Let's drop it down and adjust the sag now. Okay, so the factory recommends that it have a half inch of sag. Mine seems to already be at a half inch sag already. So this has 12 clicks uh, going from soft to firm and I made it as soft as it could be. I'm gonna take it for a ride, see how it is and kind of adjust accordingly. And of course, after I put some miles down on these, I'll do a review video for you guys. Just from that small little ride, I can tell a night and day difference from my stock shocks to these RWD RS2 shocks. I understand now why everybody changes their suspension on their bike whenever they get a new one. I honestly don't understand why I haven't done it in the past. Like I've said in the past, I'm no mechanic, but that was a really simple install to do, and any of you that feel comfortable doing an install like that should just do it. And since I didn't mention it earlier in the video, these products are made in the USA, so if you're looking for a new suspension and you wanna support a company that's here in the USA, go ahead and check out RWD. I'm not sponsored by RWD or anything like that, but I will support a company that's made here in America as long as they make a good product. And like I just mentioned, once I get some actual miles put down on this bike with this suspension on, I'll give you all a review on it. That's gonna do it for this video today, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, already and hit that alert button that can be a reminder what's going on here at the switch and views channel see you on the next one guys